What is up you guys? Today I have this cheap radar detector that you can find on Amazon, probably eBay. Um, it's just one of those Chinese made radar detectors. It's like $20 on Amazon, $20, $23. I'll show you the listing here in a few minutes. Uh, but I just want to talk about this. I want to talk about um, my uses for it and uh, I want to answer three questions for you guys and that's should you buy one? If you have one, should you trust it? And how well this thing works. Okay guys, so like I said, this is like a $20 grab on Amazon and it's a cheap device, okay? Not gonna lie here. Throughout owning this for, I don't know, like a half a year now, I, I've had so many mixed feelings about this. I thought about making a video and smashing this thing on the ground and telling you never to buy one. But at $20, it's not a bad buy. We'll talk about how it works, but first I want to show you the Amazon listing and what they claim uh, the features for this thing to be. Just in case you guys are wondering, I'm sitting in the seat of my 2016 Ford Focus ST, the six-speed manual, uh, two-liter turbocharged car. Definitely a card that you can speed easily in, and that's kind of why I'm talking about this product inside this car. But so here's here's one of the listings I found. This is on Amazon. You can find the pretty much the same product in many different listings. Um, they're all branded differently, but it's I'm sure they're made like all in the same factory. They're the same same thing. Uh, but this one here is twenty dollars. You can find them anywhere from twenty to forty dollars, and um, this is what looks to be exactly what I have. So we're gonna just run through the listing here. If you want to pause the video and read any of the features that are here on the screen, feel free to do that. But I'm just gonna kind of go quickly through these. So it comes with the plug-in. And it comes with this little rubber mat, which is like a sticky. You stick it to that, and then you stick it wherever on your dash, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. But this thing's kind of cool. It, it gets dirty easily. It gets hair and dust and things stuck to it. But it's cool because you can just wash it underwater, which is what I just did. Um, you can wash it underwater, and then once it dries, it gets sticky again. So it's very reusable. And um, going down on the listing here, it'll show you right here, product features. So it tells you right here the, the different band types that it supports. Which actually using this, I've only experienced it say KA band detected. So I don't know if that's just what the police use around here or or what but I've never I've never heard it cuz it tells you when it detects a band and it tells you what band it is and all I've heard it say was KA band and it's also pretty hard to understand it's like a really cheap speaker in there but continuing down this there's a city mode and a highway mode and then it also claims to eliminate false alarms which is definitely not true it still has a lot of false alarms so you have this thing going off when there's not even a police in sight so this is another listing that I found that's the same same thing this one's twenty four dollars and then right here this is what I like it tells you the frequencies and like the distance the range of which it'll pick up and the uh, frequency range that's detectable and I have no way to actually test this out, so I'm not sure if this is valid information or not. That's it for the listing. So really an inexpensive piece here. Looking at the detector itself, it's uh, pretty lightweight. Um, it looks pretty nice, but it's definitely, you can tell that it's made out of a cheap plastic material. It would definitely crack or break if you dropped it on concrete or something. So it's got this little bubble up top here that uh, is for the 360 detection and it claims that it detects laser as well as the radar bands. 
and then there's a menu and then a volume up and down so you can adjust the volume in which the the speaker um, warns you about the band that is detected and then right here there's a screen that I'll show you once I plug it in this I actually don't know what this port is for I think it is for uh, plugging like a GPS into it because I think you're supposed to use this with the GPS I'm not sure how that works but I don't use that port this is the front of the device which is your uh, detectors I guess and the bottom you have some little sticker with some information and some vents maybe a speaker underneath them too this is actually the power port that plugs in for this cord all right so now we got that plugged in let's actually put some power to it so this button allows you to quickly turn on and off the device uh, which is pretty nice actually so you can leave it plugged in and then just press that to turn it on and off all right so right now we got it plugged in we're going to press it on Okay, so it says highway mode. It said something radio system is uh, booting up. It's hard to understand. Like I said, the speaker is crappy and it's like a got a weird accent to it. Um, but you can see there's the display. The H is for highway mode. And then I'm not sure what that other thing is. It looks like a radar gun. So, um, so pressing the up volume... It gives you a beep so you know how loud it is, and then down. Alright, so there's a few different settings there, and then mode. City mode. There's city mode and highway mode. highway mode. And then I guess if you press and hold. So. It just changed to, I believe, Russian. I think that's the two options, is Russian and English, if you press and hold it for three seconds. Okay, so that was, uh, that was like Chinese. Alright, so that's back to English. So, pretty simplistic little thing here. I'll show you how this rubber this rubber thing works so what we're gonna do is just take it and stick it on there like that it'll stick to the bottom here of the device and then you can stick it up on your dash wherever you want it but you probably want to wipe your dash off because it gets dusty and stuff and then it won't stick but say say I want to put it right there right above my gauges um then it'll work from there and then you'll be able to see it has like a little thing that flashes and then it says like ka band connected it says something weird when it detects something and so basically being being right up there in your view is gonna give you the best notice that it's detecting something when you turn this on It actually lights up, that way you know it's on um, at night and everything. And then press it to turn it off, and then it's no longer putting power there. You can leave it plugged in, and there's no light. So how well does this thing actually detect? Well, it's, it's really hard to tell. Um, honestly, guys, if you're looking to get one of these... I mean, it's not a it's not a bad choice for twenty dollars. It gives you a good idea. So here's here's my experience with it. I've passed cops uh, with this thing turned on, and it never it never went off. It never notified me. But I've also passed cops when it has notified me a good time, like before I even saw the cop. And then I've also had a lot of false alarms where this goes off and. I never see a police. I guess they also go off around like grocery store. The uh, automatic opening doors use um, some kind of a frequency that sets these off. 
as well so there's a lot of like false alarms i think from that as well as newer cars have these different sensors around the cars to like lane departure and um and like parking sensors and things like that could also set these this off um so really it's nothing that you should rely on to not get a ticket a speeding ticket if you guys are going to speed then um your eyes are probably going to be a better a better safety than this but it does add just a little bit extra warning um but like i said you really shouldn't rely on this for safety um even the more expensive ones i don't know how well i would trust those cuz these things can get up upwards of $500 and I don't know how well they actually are going to help you. I've done a little bit of research and it seems like police are starting to use laser rather than radar for um, catching people that are speeding. And it doesn't seem like like these things can really detect lasers. I, it says that it does, but I really don't believe that. Especially for a $20, a $20 one. Um, yeah, just take it with a grain of salt, guys. I mean, I was going to throw this away, honestly, because I don't think it works that good. But like I said, sometimes it does warn you, and it does give you a little bit extra safety in that sense. But at the same time, is it worth it when it's constantly going off, doing false alarms, and it's just sitting up there on your dash, making weird noises? That's for you guys to decide. That's pretty much all I have for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, and if you have any questions, comment down below. I'll try to answer them for you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.